What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went all the way in Route 5, and well, now we're here, Holberry. And we're getting greeted by a pretty lady right here. So anywho, uh, Holberry, uh, it is a big, big town, big place, and uh, yeah, there's quite a few people here, like uh, this lady right here. Our sincerest apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. Okay, see you later, Chairman. Okay, so let's see. No need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Uh. Yeah. We need to support our fans to keep doing what we're doing. Chasing them off like that? Aren't you being a little bit too harsh, Oleana? Fans are important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake, okay? Up, I promise uh, to do everything in my power to assist you, Chairman. Oh, and you were? Bead, sir. Hmm, okay, so it doesn't seem like uh, he knows you. That's right, Bead. I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to, uh, to win the gym challenge, or perhaps will it be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion? I will prove your faith in me was well placed, Chairman. I don't. I, I won't lose to anyone. Anyway, I will be on my way now. You did lose to me, though. That's kind of hilarious. You did lose to me, homeboy. Anywho. Ah, your name was Draven, right? We were just talking about you. No, you weren't. I admit, I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. Ah, I just got it. I just had a good idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face the gym leader, Nessa, soon, right? If you get to the, if you get the gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration, and I'd like to get to know you a bit, a little bit better afterwards. Chairman, we should really get, be going. Okay, please do your best for the sake of Galar's future. Okay, all right. Okay, so Eliana right here, she's like the chairman will be heading to this town's uh, or the, this town's seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join them there at once. Do not keep them waiting. Huh. Yeah, she is a she is a mean one, and I, I don't know. For some reason, I like that. Okay, so here we are in, well, let's see, Turfield or Perfield or whatever. And, well, this place, obviously, is the home to the water gym. And, well, there's going to be quite a few things that you can actually visit and see. And, well, what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to find some rare items. Maybe even a trade or something like that. And if you talk to this lady, like, see, I remember the Professor Magnolia first presented the findings of Dynamax phenomena. The whole gallery was in a such a spin. Okay, cool. That's great. Fantastic. Awesome. Let's go right here. And, well, talk to this girl. And she's like, not a single bite today, but I still need to polish my gear. I mean, Pokemon are bound to bite in my gears. Nice, shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still. Okay, all right, never mind. And, well, let's go right over here, see what this is all about. And, well, there are twins right here. So, there's no items, none whatsoever. Uh, let's go right ahead and take a look at a few things. A few things while we're at it, guys. Yes, get some free items and all that crud. Um, this is actually home to the train station, too, guys. That way you can actually go back to the, to the wild area if you want to. And, uh... It's hard to tell from a male and female whooper. Okay, male and female whooper. I think I know what it is. Males have two antennae while one have like, well, the female have one. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. Comment down below, guys. And let's go right here and see what we got. See if this lady gives us something. Team leaders are too weak. Their regime will be relegated to the minor division. Ha! Huh. That's hilarious. And yes, they are keeping, they are still keeping the, the whole soccer thing around here, or football, as many of you guys uh, like to call it. And, well, let's see, there's nothing right here. Oh, right here. Found ourselves two X speeds, which could be useful. And, well, now it is time for us to go back down right here. And that gym looks spectacular. And, well, let's see. Well, something's up right here. Okay, so if you go right here... There's a fisher woman right here, and she's like, you must be a gym leader or a gym challenger. If you're looking for the gym leader, Nessa, she's off at the lighthouse. The lighthouse is, well, if you had uh, towards the sea from here, you shouldn't be able to miss it. 
which is cool. So that is the next mission. We actually have to find Nessa, and believe it or not, Nessa is a very, very beautiful woman right here. And, well, this place right here, you can actually capture some Pokemon. Uh, yeah, some very interesting Pokemon. Barrisuta comes to mind, and there's five netballs that you can actually grab. And, well, let's see. I'm going to throw it over there. And I want to show you guys one of the Pokemon right here. So, yes, we're fishing. And we're pulling and we're getting attacked. And, well, here's one Pokemon. Chinchou. A very, very good Pokemon. Dual type Pokemon. Both electric and... Both electric and water type. And, well, we can't get out of here. Because we're not strong enough. God darn it. Okay, so... Let's get out of here. Yes, we got we got hit. So uh, that probably says that we need to actually train our Pokemon just a little bit more, or maybe use any of those uh, rare candies that we have. I mean, it, that's why they're there. And here we have two super potions. And here is the lighthouse. Oh, look at this. Okay, so look at this. A uh, statue of the Pokemon is said to have protected the lighthouse. The two forms of Blitzkrieg. I can't remember the name of uh, the forms, but we'll eventually get there, and well, hello there. Man, hello, hello. How's it going there, baby? Oh my god. You must be the gym challenger, right? Wow. Again, guys, I, I, I think her design is fantastic. She's got, wow, she's really beautiful. Anywho, that's amazing! You're the one. You're the one endorsed by Leon, right? You've got, or you become uh, something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Famous. I've already heard uh, about you, and you should have learned about me too. And yes, we get Nessa's Lee card. Can we get your number two? You know, while we're at it, let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. Whatever you say, baby. My God. My god, just looking at her, I could look at her all day. Anywho, here we have the TM82 Electro Web. A very good electric type move, and well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and see if any of my Pokemon can learn it. So, let's see, nobody can learn it. Holy crud. Uh, you guys really, really need to level up or something like that. I don't know. And, well, let's see, we've done... Okay, we've taken our small tour, and wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Huh. I wonder if we can actually go in here and talk to that guy, but never mind. Comment down below, guys, if, if, if there is a possibility of meeting and talking to that guy. So, let's see. Uh, there is another area right here that we can actually visit. Uh, it's not right here because, well, you know, obviously... It's whatever, but you know what? We're gonna save it till afterwards. We're gonna go straight to the Pokemon Gym because we need to get our second badge. We need to progress through this game right here. And, well, let's see. The deal is this, that we need Blitzkrieg to actually grow right away. So, I'm going to have to suck it up and use some of the experience candy. So, let's see. We're gonna have to use the small versions right here. So, let's see. Let's put five on this. And it'll get 4,000 experience points right there. So let's see, it's at level 22. And yeah, I I, I kind of I kind of thought that it would it would actually learn a, a move or here or there. You know what? Let's give Mi Michelangelo five as well, and see where it lands. And it's at level 23, and it's learning headbutt. So that's an actual that's that's a very uh, useful move right here. So there we go, take away that, and Michelangelo has learned Headbutts. And here we have Digivolution. Okay, so Michelangelo is finally evolving into a pretty awesome Pokemon. That being said, it can actually learn new moves and it gets another typing. As you can see, here we have Dreadnought, a very, very powerful Pokemon. As you can see, Dreadnought is the bite Pokemon. It is both water and rock. And, well, with its jaws that can shear through steel rods, this highly aggressive Pokemon chomps down on its unfortunate prey. And because it evolved, it is learning a new move, and that is Rock Tomb, which was kind of the move I kind of wanted to teach. So let's go right ahead and take away Protect. So 
this is awesome right here, guys, because now I can actually teach this Pokemon uh, some very useful moves rather than the ones that it just has. So that's that. And, well, let's see. Huh. Yeah, let's give a uh, five to Bex right here. Not really, I'm not really dreading it much, guys, because eventually the reason to why I'm going to... The reason I'm, I'm leveling these guys up or the reason why I'm going to the third gym is because eventually the more we progress, the more Pokemon are, can be available. And not only that, we the more, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, rare candies, experience candies uh, will be available to us right here. So, let's see. Uh, pin Missile, Light Screen. Okay, so Scary Face is something right here. Beat Up, Swift, Rock Blast. Is another another good move and tail slap brutal swing focus energy waterfall is another move that you know we, we're gonna teach uh, Michelangelo or Michelangelo so let's give it waterfall and there we go now it has a much better attack and let's see let's see we got shadow ball we could actually teach uh, kiss that and Aurora sphere you know I would I would think that, you know, Bex would would be able to learn Aurora Sphere since it knows a uh, double kick. Let's see. Zen Headbutt. Drill Run. Dazzling Gleam. Nothing. Throw Chop. Really? Throw Chop? It can learn Throw Chop? Huh. Uh, you know what? We're going to save that for later because Bite is one of uh, its things that can actually do. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Blitzkrieg. Now, it is kind of a, a risk because Blitzkrieg is not that powerful just yet. It might just be on par with some of these guys. And as always, you can talk to the ball guy and he'll give you a rare uh, Pokeball right here. So, here it is. We're getting ourselves a Lure Ball, which, of course, is a Pokeball that is good for catching Pokemon that you reel in with the rod while fishing. So, that's, uh, that's actually pretty good right there. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this individual. And, well... Yes, we're going to go into the gym mission right here. Cannot wait because, well, Nessa is probably one of my favorite favorite gym leaders out there. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, continue on this adventure right here. We are going in for our second badge. We are, uh, we are ready. We're ready. We are ready. We ready. <laughs> and look at that. Okay, so the puzzle right here has obviously has something to do with those pipes look at that okay so we got Pokemon trainers that we have to defeat we need we need to get some stuff taken care of the Holberry Gym's mission is this a challenging maze and you must reach a goal to clear the mission however some paths in the maze are blocked by water what should you do then try pressing the red button over there I imagine you'll figure it out future champ well, you see, he actually does acknowledge me, so let the gym mission begin. See, he acknowledges me, kind of like Roman Reigns. Well, I don't acknowledge Roman Reigns, so come at me, Roman Reigns. And, well, here we are. We're going to be taking on a trainer, and, uh, well, it's her name is Julia. And she's ready to go because she's coming out with a time pool. Now, time pools... I, I'm hoping that they don't evolve them right here because if that's the case, then we're kind of messed. We're kind of screwed because uh, they can evolve into a, a ground and water type Pokemon. Kind of a Wooper 2.0 right here. And well, there we go. It's a little bit better. And now it is paralyzed. So let's go again. Nuzzle attack. Let's go, Blitzkrieg. Let's get it. There we go. And Time Pool is getting its butt kicked right now. So. Yes, giving those uh, experience or experience candies actually came in handy right here for our Pokemon, and just like that, Time Pool has been defeated. And with that, we can actually gain a little bit more experience points. Shadow Blade is learning a new move. Uh, what was it called? Taunt. Yeah, kind of don't need it right now. So let's see. We defeated Julia, and she's like, "Huh, Time Pool, and I, and I were the ones who got soaked." Yes, you got soaked badly. Okay, so that's taken care of. Uh, the goal is that we have to press the button right here and get to the yellow button. And that will actually eliminate that. And we have to go back to the red. Hold on just a sec. Red right here. And 
Well, just like that, we're moving on ahead. Now, let's see. It's best if you actually press the yellow button first because, yeah, you might mess with a, you, you might get trapped out here somehow. So, we're going to go for another battle right here, and this time we're taking on Heather. And she will be coming out with a Krabby right here. Krabby, Krabby, Krabby. Okay, so, let's go with the Nuzzle Attack right here. And that Harden Attack is going to harden this Pokemon right now. And, well, Krabby's not having any of it. And just like that, that Physical Attack will get it, but it paralyzes Krabby. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to good old Kiss right here, since it does have Seed Bomb. This actually will work. I completely... Yeah, I just remembered that. And... Well, let's see. Coming out with a heart attack. You're still paralyzed, homeboy. And I'm faster than you, so... Yeah, Kiss is going to get you with the Seed Bomb right here. So here goes, Seed Bomb for the win. And there's a bombs away, and crud, Krabby is like, yeah, Krabby is, uh, yeah, it's resisting a lot of stuff. It's, well, it's withstanding a lot of stuff, so let's go right ahead and go straight for a seed bomb right here. And there we go, seed bomb for the win. There goes Krabby. What now? Okay, so there we go, and what do we got? Corefish. Let's continue on right here, since Corefish hasn't hardened just yet. Let's go straight for a Seed Bomb attack right here. Hopefully this will work. Finish it off real quick. And just like that, Corefish has been defeated. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. And well, god dang, we almost gained that level. We need a new move, man. We need a new move. Okay. So, let's see. We got to press this button right here. This will actually... Turn the yellow, and the other part too is the red. So we have to actually hold on just a sec. Got to get in front. God dang it! I have to get in front of this. And there we go. The red is turned on. So now it is time for us to move on ahead right here and get to the blue. I really do love this puzzle. It's pretty awesome. And well, let's see. I knew that there was a trainer there out there. So let's go right ahead and get past her and turn this on. So the goal right there is to turn that on and bam, turn that off. Okay, so from there we have to actually get the yellow off. And how do we get how do we get the yellow off? How? Hmm. Ah, okay, I see what it is. Yeah, the yellow has to be turned off right here. We have to battle her, so she'll actually notice us, and, well, we're going to have to battle. Either way, it has to be done. Okay, so let's go right ahead and let's get this. Alrighty, so here we go, going up against a Remoraid, and, well, Nuzzle Attack will actually do us some good. But here comes that Whirlpool Attack. Good gravy. Oh, damn. Okay. So, Nuzzle Attack will actually help us just a little bit. We'll hopefully, it'll paralyze it. And, yeah, Remoraid has got... Okay, so that was a lot of HP right there, but we're getting uh, Whirlpooled away. So, we have to beat this Pokemon quickly since it's now paralyzed. And here we go, Nuzzle Attack. Come on! Oh, Gravy. And here comes Le Bubbly Beam. And Le Bubbly Beam it hits us. Pretty hard, so there goes Blitzkrieg. So yeah, at the beginning it is a struggle to use Blitzkrieg, mainly because it's a baby Pokemon. It says it right there in its description. So let's see. First is first. We got to use a revive. You know me, guys. I like for every single one of my Pokemon. Oh, good gravy. Okay, so yeah, I guess Nintendo kind of figured that you know that's uh, something that. You know, you, you, you still miss a turn if you use it on the wrong Pokemon. So, we missed up on a one turn, and, well... Bonesaw is getting, uh... Bonesaw is getting hurt right there, so... Let's go right ahead and go straight for a Dragon Claw attack. And the Dragon Claw does the trick. Remoraid has been defeated. Okay. 
And there goes Blitzkrieg with the level 23. Still have, hasn't been learning anything. And here comes a Choodle. So let's go straight to Kiss and see what we can do. Like, uh, let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, give it a C-Bomb. See if it actually works right there. Well, Choodle is just a water type Pokemon, so yeah. Let's go right ahead and go Seed Bomb right away. She's looking all serious and all that crud. So here we go. Seed Bomb for the win. And just like that, Toodle has been defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Kiss has learned or has grown to another level. With that strength, it's no wonder you beat my, me and my Pokemon. Yeah. Because I am super strong. It's super strong right there. Okay. So we have to get to the yellow right here somehow. And we have to go to here. Okay, so that right there, I knew that was going to happen. So we have to turn off the red and to get get past here. So let's see. Good jeebus. Okay. So let's see. Um, I, I, I know what to do right here. I know what to do right here. Don't yell at me, guys. I'm fragile. No, I'm just playing. Uh, let's see. We go right here. And we find a red. We have to find a red. Good god okay so i sort of messed up right here guys uh guess we have to turn on turn on the blue turn on the blue turn on the red and then turn on something else okay so turn the blue back on and let's see let's see uh i guess hold on now we'll get trapped so let's go straight to the red first go red is here and let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see okay so go straight to the yellow and this will lead us this will lead us to what what, what will it lead us oh, okay so after that it will lead us back right here go back to the red Turn on the blue. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're we're yeah we're, <laughs> yeah, we're kicking some butt right here. Okay, so that is how you do it. Kind of took me a while because I'm a little slow. My bad, guys. And just like that, we are reaching our destination right here to our girlfriend Nessa. Oh yes. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. The gym, gym mission is clear. So I'm going to go straight ahead and, well, I'm going to be showing it off to everybody right here. Okay, so before we battle, let's see. Uh, yeah, we can't really switch out Pokemon. So let's go ahead and restore some. Uh, let's go ahead and restore some HP right here. So it is obvious to us that, that Blitzkrieg is not going to be a factor in this whole situation. Um, it it kind of sucks because, well, dang. And, well, let's see. Actually, what the heck did I just do? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out uh, Kiss with Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg will just get get leveled up by, by just doing nothing. So here it is, guys, going into the pitch. And it is all blue, completely blue. And I've been waiting for this one because look at her. Mm, 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 mm. My God. Mm, mm, mm. It's probably the hair. It's probably the eyes. It's probably the combination of the hair and eyes, but I don't know. She's just, like, really beautiful. So, welcome, honored gym, gym challenger. I think you already realized, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have you make you look at for me. I'm looking at you, not for you. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty. You cleared it. Uh, your, mind, uh, your mind is a uh, Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan you or your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. I can watch her walk for days. I'm telling you guys. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number two against our girlfriend, Nessa. Look at her. I can just look at her for days. So here it is, guys, battling her. And look what she does. Oh, wow. She is flexible. I'm just going to give her that, okay? Nothing else. Anywho, turning on my Mighty Morphin communicator right there. And let's go straight for a seed bomb. Now, she does have three Pokemon right here. And I think we can actually... Yeah, we, we yeah we can actually beat these guys. Look at that. That was an easy attack. And here comes a horn attack. 
Okay, let's go straight for a Night Slash attack. And you would think that she would do her Pokemon just like that, but no. Here comes a Night Slash. There goes Goldeen. And, well, there we go. Everybody's gaining some points. And Bonesaw has learned a new move. And I'm going to take Bite Away to get the Crunch attack right here, which is good. It's great. It's fantastic. And, well, let's see. Aracuda. That is a very fast Pokemon, so let's go straight to Bonesaw. Aracuda has been suggested by a lot of you guys. I I was thinking of actually using it because it was a it's a very useful Pokemon from what I see. But it's like I, I I'm sorry, I like the other Pokemon better. I'm more of a yeah, more of a different type of Pokemon right here. So here comes a bite attack. It's speed and it's attack right there. It's just, oh, it's, it's, it's crazy. And there goes a crunch attack. That right there lowers its defense. And, well, let's go straight for a dragon rage attack right here. And, well, another bite attack. And here comes the dragon rage or dragon's claw. And there we go. Aracuda has been defeated. Bex grows to level 28. And, well, she's going to be coming out with Dreadnought. So let's go straight back to our good old buddy, Kiss. Because it does have a good move. Quadruple damage. You're going to love this one right here, guys. All right, Kiss. What's up? And there she is. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Okay. All right. So here's Dreadnought. Okay, Dreadnought, as you guys already know, is a water and rock type Pokemon, so that is quadruple damage, so max overgrowth will hit it hard. So let's go right ahead and digivolutionize our Pokemon right here. Let's hit it. Bam. That's right. Grow. 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 Look at that. Yes. Ah. It's tongue. Yeah. You got, you got to thank Gene Simmons for all that crud. And, well, here she is. She's like, flood the stadium, make our ocean, Dreadnought. Time to Dynamax. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, well, look at this. Dreadnought. Looking like a tank. It's looking like a tank, guys. Holy bejeebus. Okay. I see what you are. I see what you're doing. So here comes Max Overgrowth, and this right here hits it four times hard, and yeah, it's about to be defeated, and well, it changes the playing field just a little bit right there, guys. And well, she's looking at us like, the little gift from us, I hope you can take it. Uh, okay, so here comes Max Geyser. Not much of, a, of an attack, but this right here hits us very hard. And, again, it changes the playing field from uh, grass to water, I think. Okay, and it does heal its Pokemon just a little bit. And, well, actually, that's the grass part right there. So, here we are, going back to Max Overgrowth. And, what? Oh, come on! That's not fair. Okay, so... Wow, we get defeated by... Yeah, I was literally... Oh my god, okay, so Dreadnought, you got one more turn. Let's go straight to, let's see, who has the ability to beat this guy right here? Okay, so let's go, you know what, let's go Bonesaw. Bonesaw, and I think we're fast enough, so Bonesaw, get ready to unleash Fury on it. It does have one more turn, so it, it, it it's not really a big deal. And, well, here comes Max Darkness. And wow, okay, so we're getting beat. We are getting beat down. And just like that, I think that was like three turns. So let's go straight to Blitzkrieg right here. Or you know what? Yeah, let's go let's go Michelangelo right here, okay? Same type. Everything's gonna be alright. We just gotta revive a Pokemon. And well, let's see. Is it at the third turn? Yes it is. Alright, go back to your original form. This has become an interesting battle, to say the least. And, well, let's go ahead and use a... You know what? Let's give a Max Revive to to Kiss right here. Don't worry, guys. We'll get more Max Revives eventually. And, well, Razor Shell right here. This is a new one. And that right there 
Somebody's healing, okay? Oh yeah, we're all healing. Okay, so you wanted to fight. You gotta fight. And well, let's go with the waterfall attack right here. And yeah, her Pokemon is a lot faster than mine. How is that even possible? Holy crud, okay. Alright, so the rain has stopped. And I think it's because of the rain that's made it faster. And well, we're we're continuing to heal. This lady right here, I don't know what it is about her, but it's it's just making me I don't know. It's just doing things to me, guys. So let's go back to Kiss. Back on an even playing field. Never thought that I would be pushed this hard right here. So let's go right ahead and finish it off with a super or a, uh, a seed bomb right here. So there we go. Seed bomb for the win. Eat it, Dreadnought. Eat it. Mm -hmm. You didn't expect that guy to come back. So there you go, guys. Bam. And gym leader Nessa has been defeated. And, well, she's not too happy about it. I may probably be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. Hey, uh, if it's any consolation, you look totally hot beating the crap out of me. I'm just saying. Um, I mean, hey, can I get your number? Seriously. How? How could this be? <sighs> now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit and that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Well, thank you. That's, like, really nice. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of a gym uh, badge. And, well, shaking the hands. I will see you soon. And there it is, guys. Our second badge, the water badge. And now we can catch Pokemon up to level 30. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next as you and your Pokemon are now will he'll definitely uh, want to battle you. And well, this means that we have to actually go all the way back to Motostoke, I believe. Draven, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM and there it is guys. We get ourselves the TM36 Whirlpool and the user traps the target in a violent swirling whirlpool for four to five turns. Take this too. It's a replica of Nessa's uniform. Oh, I thought it was something else. Never mind. Now that you won the water badge, I'll be watching to see how far you and your Pokemon go. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah, we're feeling pretty uh, fantastic right here. Okay. And, well, Oleana has been waiting for us. She's like, do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face. I will give you one of his lead cards. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> this lady is, uh, something. Chairman Rose is kind of a man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of things he needs right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible as uh, so as not to keep the chairman waiting. Wow, she has an attitude, and I'm loving it. I really am. Something's wrong with me, guys. <laughs> Anywho, so there it is, guys. We have defeated another gym leader. And, well, we're going to complete this episode by going to that restaurant because there, I guess there's something that we need to actually do. Uh, the restaurant is right here. That's where everybody's just looking like at, for the chairman. And as we enter to the restaurant, the chairman is right there with our girlfriend, Sonia. Draven, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you were invited too? You two know each other? That's great! Come now, please be seated. Oh, look at that. We have a nice, a nice uh, little soiree right here. Okay! Clawberry is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite in debt to her, you know. She was the one who figured out to unleash the power of the Wishing Stars to use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. Hmm. She was saying that there, there's still so much that we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me to take a Power Spot detector with me and I'm still tra I'm started traveling. A power, spot, a, a power Spot detector, that's the device that allowed me to discover the Power Spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allowed Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing the Professor Magnolia is so worried though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit our vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key uh, to unlocking secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. 
Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it's time we get going, the Chairman. Hmm. But I hardly had I hardly had a chance to speak with Draven. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can it can be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hmm. Huh. Does he think he's doing doing me a favor? He's right. He's right that the vault would be a good place to look uh, for info on the legends, but. You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessus, no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. And just like that, guys, we get the TM 79 Retaliate. And this right here gets the user, uh, our user gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's powers increase. Ness is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, June Challenger. Okay. All right. So that right there is that. And well, let's see. Oh, great. Awesome. Fantastic. It's you. All right, mate. You've got both the grass and water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed to Moto Stoke and the fire gym leader, Kabu. How about I share you a little tip about the leader, Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up in the Galler's Mine number two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can take him on in Moto Stoke, even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to the Galler Mine number two ourselves. Let's go see what the fuss is all about. Yeah, I'm going to go this way because I need to heal my Pokemon and do other things right here. So, yeah, it has been an interesting episode, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. In the next episode, we will be going to the gallery, uh, Galler, the Galler Mines number two to go straight to, I believe, Motostoke, I believe. Yeah. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.